Okay guys, this is going to be a, I think, a short video, but also a uh, fumbly one, because um, this is Brasia Summer Dream, and for the first time, I hope, I can show you something interesting. Oh, there it is. See that? That's a flower spike. Well, you already knew about this one, but I just discovered on this immature bulb, and it's really immature. Oh, yeah, you have to put up with it. Look at that. Flower spike number two. So, <coughs> I'll be a monkey's uncle. Yay! And his name is Bob. Do no even. There you go. So, two spikes on the Shelob Tolkien. That's a big one. And there's a big one. Uh, <coughs> I moved the um, other Brasia uh, Shelob, not a Tolkien, to the other side of the room and see what that one is going to do. Uh, another thing, hold up. This morning, um, the YouTube algorithm uh, sent me a video from Miss Orchid Girl. And she uh, explained the difference between uh, flower spikes and new growth. And she had the Maxillaria tenufolia. And this could very, very well be a flower spike. And this oh, is a new growth. Now I have to wait for this one to develop a little more. But it could be a bud. Yeah. This one has to come off because, yeah, reasons. So that needs to be done fast because if it flowers, I'm not going to touch it. Um, oh yeah, oh. This one is developing really nice. I think it's about four weeks off. If the big one is anything to go on. <coughs> Joe, Cochleantis. Yes, aha, it's a bit misspelled, but who cares? Now it has a tag and now I don't forget. So why do I need a tag? Cochleantis. Yay. Um, <coughs> anything else? Oh yeah, the cakes on the Kinjianum are raving. So, I, yeah, I have a, a decent way to restart this one because the big one just doesn't want to grow. It has a new growth, but <coughs> the cake is all larger. Um, 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 oh yeah, uh, that's about it on the, on the flower department. Still nothing on this one. What is this? Hmm. That is a definite hmm. I told you it was hiding something. 
Does it look like a flower spike? Hmm. No, I don't think so. If I look here, there's another little bit. Yeah, this is a new growth. It's welcome, but <clears throat> I'd rather see a flower spike. Because it can carry a lot. No, I flowered on this one, so it will not flower again. Yeah, uh, no, not today. There's uh, the new growth. Yeah, that's not a flower spike, I'm pretty sure. But this is, this is great. Two flower spikes. And still two bulbs it hasn't flowered on, so meh, could be. And it is, uh, the flowers are um, a little more delicate than the sea lob and greenish, yellowish, beautiful plant. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Heavy feeders. Oh. Yeah, these are going outside this uh, summer. The little uh, Cymbidium from Poland. And it, it was yellowing. And I read that these like a lot of light. So I placed it a little near. Uh, a little bit more in front and it's starting to green up again so <clears throat> yeah this little fellow had quite a journey it's not advisable and the reason this one made it is because it has a rhizome and bulbs <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend this with a phalaenopsis and this one is Really, he's shooting out of the pot. I'm expecting new roots any day now. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the epidendrum is still growing, and yeah, I think it's going to be a pink one. Mm. Have to be very careful. Because, uh, yeah, it's going underground. I'll have to cut a bit out of the pot. There is no other way, no. It aborted one eye here. Fell spike. That's still going yippy. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. That one is going really yippy. Full of new growth. Three here. And I believe there were more. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> This is my uh, two dendrobiums in a pot. What the hell? I must have been blind the last weeks. Damn. I never noticed these. I gave them water two days ago. Okay. <clears throat> surprise, surprise. Now I can identify which is which because there are two different species or different varieties. Damn. But well, yeah, this is now the most important thing on the plant. I was planning on showing you this because 
this one made two new growth and this one is pushing out two there's one nubbin and oh there's one in between damn I know they can creep up on you but this is ridiculous <clears throat> I should have noticed this weeks ago yeah goes to show how uh, <clears throat> how unfamiliar I am with blooms but I think my non-blooming streak really is over because yeah I, I really wasn't expecting this one the cane is almost spent because it is growing <clears throat> new growth five on that one absolutely amazing and three on this one and this cane is a little bit fatter but I believe that this one has large flowers <coughs> purple and this one has small flowers also purple oh wow <coughs> yeah that's really a wow moment wow Wow, <laughs> okay, uh, Dendrobium capituliflorum, uh, this is the Coco Drama experiment, and it has new growth, and they look better than what it ever had. I had this one for two years, so <clears throat> it's about bloody time it did something. Do we have more unsuspected buds? Hmm. Wow. It's definitely. Damn. Big new growth on the. <coughs> Taliante, Supermarket Catalia, uh, there's an, no ID, uh, Catalia with one big new growth, uh, yeah, Christa Erdmann is, meh, it's slow, really slow, let me get it, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's producing roots, not much, but this was a year from blooming, as told by the grower. Um, I have a cakey, um, this is Memoria Christa Erdmann, is it? Yes, and that's making a new growth as well, just not on the root department. But I'm sure it will come. Um, <coughs> do 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 do. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Epidendrum. Oh. I really, really wasn't. Look at that. Pretty roots. Oh. Oh, this one likes it wet for some reason <clears throat> but what I wanted to say I would have never ever expected this one to flower because <clears throat> when I got it it was at least four leaves smaller and it was a cakey barely with any roots so I expected it to die but yay I think me getting out of the living room and dedicating it to orchids has really made a difference. <coughs> That's prima donna. I took off the old flowers yesterday because, well, yeah, they were gone.
little cat layers that uh oh well you see the big growth this was the intermedia pretty small flowers uh, yeah that's about it I think I'm gonna place the little anthurium uh, in between the orchids on that table they like a lot of light but not direct light so <clears throat> I think between those it gets enough filtered light. Uh, let me see. There's a snapped leaf. That's really too bad. Yeah, Dimitri, if you're watching, is this the best way to go? Because <coughs> I got a feeling this is a bit too wet for it. Can I pot it in uh, potting soil? So, please advise. That's also one of the supermarket catalias. Um, I believe I only have two left. One of them died or didn't he? I'm not even sure where it is. But it's pushing out an enormous growth and there is somewhere there is a new eye lurking uh, this one i got from digna a no no longer than three weeks ago it's a cattleya skinneri has really really pretty small purple flowers and the one dormant eye i said was going to move is moving the other one is behind this one and I'm not really sure if that's moving already but that's number three so that one is doing really really well yeah so is the rest those are um, nobles white ones I believe yeah it's all super duper Oh yeah, um, one of those is going to Juanita, I was planning on putting that in the mail yesterday, but I couldn't find a box, yeah, I have big boxes, but no small boxes. Okay, uh, <clears throat> one last look at the wall, and that's it for today, 18 minutes update, later.